question. Yeah. Um, what do you uh, attribute your level of success in the industry to? What would you say what puts you ahead of other people, perhaps, or makes you as good as you are? Did I say that right? Yeah, I don't, boy, that's, uh... I mean, like, what tips could you give us, you know, to be successful? I'd say the number one thing is, uh, is... You know, it sounds weird, but it, it's being humble and recognizing that you really stink as an artist. <laughs> Because that recognition that you're not anywhere near as good of an artist as you can be will always motivate you to do better. And then every day as you improve, you'll be satisfied not necessarily with your art, but you'll be satisfied with your progress. And then, you know, with every day, you know, you're recognizing progress or every film you're improving upon, uh, you'll You'll, you'll grow constantly. I know um, I can I can rattle off probably half a dozen artists I've worked with over the years that uh, that I knew from day one, and they're still drawing the exact same way they were drawing 15 years ago. Okay, they're still getting paid really good. They're still getting employed, but to me that's an absolute failure. To me that's the worst case scenario. If you can look back and say, oh man, you proved here, and you proved here, and you proved here, and you proved here, and every year you look back on your work and you just shudder, right? That's success. Regardless of where you're at, that's success. Because you'll just exponentially grow, I and mean, you'll surpass. You'll surpass people. In the but you've got to be humble enough to do that. If you, if you go into a studio or, or, or a classroom environment, it, you feel like you're the cheese, you know, like you are the best one in the class. Yeah, you're just you're just impeding yourself to grow. But if you go into the classroom and you feel and you constantly feel those frustrations of not being a good enough artist, that a good that's what motivates you to to become better. So. I know that sounds weird, but that that probably has, has kept me, that's like the boot that keeps kicking me in the rear, right, to get better, is recognizing that, that, that I'm, I, I need to get better and I'm uh, not as good as I'd like to be.
They didn't even invite me to go because they knew. And and they respected that. And whenever we and there there were parties all the time in the studio. Right. The, you know, somebody makes a yellow light and it's cause for a party. You know, I mean they always have parties and they always bring in the beer, right? And they just know. They know I'm not going to drink it because they know I'm, I'm LDS. And it, 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 they don't ever make, make fun of me or anything like that. And it was never, ever, ever like that. And even even on a content basis, um, in the studios, I never had a problem with the con having to work on content that was out of my control. But a lot of times, the rating of the film that you're working on isn't determined until well after you've worked on it. So you have no idea what rating. And a lot of times you never get to see a script. Depending on what job in the in the process you're doing, you never even see a script. So you don't even know what the story is like in the film. You're just doing your part of the job. Right? Until some of the movie comes out. Right? Every now and then you include in studio environments that's been the case. Every now and then I got a, uh, a, uh, a freelance job. Once I got a freelance job, and it paid so good. But it was for a video game. But the minute I looked it up on the internet, just to see what it was, no way. There any of her users in Larry in the land of the lounge lizards? <laughs> and I want to be a bunch of content work and design stuff for it. I immediately looked it up. Wow, forget this. Called them up and said, sorry, I don't want to, just don't want to work on that project. They're fine. Don't ever think that's a negative thing. Or don't ever, I, I never had that problem. I never had a problem with being in a position where my religion was compromised or my beliefs or my standards were impeded me from, from, from growing. Yeah, not once. I'm a firm believer that in the event those things do come up, that the that the uh, the opportunities that I may miss, I'm going to work this just right. The opportunities that I may miss because I denied working on a project that or something that compromised my values, the Lord will make up for those. He'll, he'll fill in that gap and then even more on the 